Ready? I'm you ready. ready? Action. Action. She does not know how to be herself on camera, guys. I just want to let you know that. I get a lot of questions about why Mrs. Stony Ridge isn't on the vlog very much. Why isn't she there? Well, she doesn't really like being on the camera so much. Is that? Yeah, that's fair. Good Today's farm vlog today is all about the goats. Our goats keep getting out. We use this poly wire. I'll show you. Hang on. You look at the camera. So we use this poly ethylene crazy wire that, that's not the best in the world hang on all right, all right. this is what you call a cold opening to a to a vlog this is this poly wire okay this stuff has embedded in it a little bit of uh aluminum aluminized wire okay so inside that inside this braid is some aluminized wire it is not keeping the goats up. So we went to uh, the, our local tractor supply here and we got ourselves some aluminum electric fence wire. I had the option of getting the galvanized versus the aluminum. I, you know, I've got an electrician background in my, in my world of everything I've done and I wanted to have a better um, conductor of electricity so that these goats get a jolt and they start staying in their pen. My neighbors called me the other day, said, your goats are out, they're up here in our yard. And I said, go out there and chase them off. They went out and chased him off, but I don't want to get that call anymore. So we're going to go up and we're going to work on the fence. Mrs. Stony Ridge has already taken down all the old poly wire like a good farmer's wife, which is awesome. And we're going to go up here. We're going to run some new wire and we're going to talk to you a little bit. So come along with us today and we'll show you what we're doing. We're going to keep these goats up using some aluminized electric fence wire. All right. Woo! <laughs> Stony Ridge Farm, Stony Ridge Stony Ridge Farm. Woo! <laughs> All right. One of the main missions today is to get Mrs. Stony Ridge a little more comfortable and a little more natural around the camera. She's not very natural around the camera. She just kind of freezes up a little bit. So that's not really her. That's not the way she acts. Look at her. How do I really act? She's acting very shy. She's normally very mean. Arr, look at that mean face. That's true. So we're riding up to the goat pen here. Here's the old Bronco. Guys, what do you think about that thing? Leave me a comment. Awesome. Go to goats! So here's the goat pen and we're riding up on the fence controller and you can see this is a uh, solar fence controller here, and I'll, uh, I'll zoom in on that a little bit. I'll leave a link down below to the uh, solar fence controller that we use here. Okay, so here's our solar fence controller, and this is the Zariba brand, uh, and it's getting plenty of sunlight, and this is where we connect it to our uh, electric fence right here. And the goats are coming on down the hill. That's kind of cool. So we got 12 goats now. We have uh, three fainting goats, actually four fainting goats, and... Uh, some pygmy goats. So before we get started, the ultimate goal here is to make sure that these goats stay in the pen. They're just not staying in the pen like they should. We're using aluminum wire now instead of this poly wire. It's got a little more punch to it. I don't want to shock the goats. Let me be clear about that. But I do want them to respect the fence and stop getting out. See all these weeds and stuff that are growing up? All, all this stuff should be eaten down and the goats should be grazing off this hillside, but they're not doing it. So we got to fix that problem. Hey, goat friend. Okay, so guys, we're going to start right here at the uh, post where I'm going to make my gate. And basically, I bought these little T-post gate anchors right here from Tractor Supply. All this stuff's from Tractor Supply. Uh, I'll find a link to them on Amazon in case you want to order these for yourself from Amazon. Um, but we're going to go up to the uh, first post. We're going to get it started, get our anchor set so that we'll uh, have a good place to to start our uh, fence off here. And we'll start at the gate section and we'll work our way around. We'll do one full lap and then we'll come back around. We have one mile of fence wire, so we should be okay. So the guys at American, what is it, AFW? American Farm Works have been kind enough to give us a diagram right here. So we're just gonna install this on this T-post and this will give us a great anchor point. Here, this is yours. So when we work together on a farm, it's all about togetherness and working together and doing our best all the time and 
I apologize if I get frustrated sometimes with Mrs. Stony Ridge because sometimes I feel like, you know, you could be thinking about things ahead of me and, and you're not thinking about things ahead of me. Let me tell you uh, that farming and, and doing this kind of stuff can be stressful on a marriage and uh, we may talk about that in the next vlog. May uh, just sit down and talk to you a little bit about the stresses of homesteading on a marriage. Um, I come from the country and I kind of catch on the mechanical stuff a little bit better and and she comes from the city and and kind of catches on to the book stuff a little bit better and you know she makes a good living I make a good living we work together um, and sometimes we get frustrated at each other so we'll talk to you about that in the next vlog so this little tea post thing kind of slips over the edge of the post and we're gonna put the first fence connector fairly low here um, basically you just twist it in place Pretty simple, pretty easy. And that secures it in place and that way when we want to get in and out of this little area we can have a little gate. So that'll be kind of cool. Unscrew, slide it over the post, and we'll put the second one in. These little goats, they're pygmy goats and they don't jump very high. I know when you have goats, jumping is always an issue. Uh, not so much with these goats. They, they do pretty good without jumping. We'll still probably put three rungs of uh, a fence, three, three strands of fence wire all the way around. Uh, hopefully our one mile of uh, fence will cover that, but we'll see. All right, so we're gonna hook our first little rung on here. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap our electric fence around. Nice and tight. We need to really weed eat right here before we do this, but whatever. I'll probably weed eat afterwards. Biggest thing is we gotta make sure we pull this nice and tight. Go ahead that way. Go to the corner and pull tight. There you go. Guys, FYI, this is my first time ever running this kind of wire. So we got it done. We got the fence up. Man, it's hot out here. It's like 95 degrees, really tough. We had to get this fence up. The goats kept getting out, getting in the neighbor's yard. Pretty simple stuff to put up, I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad besides the bickering about you put your hand there, I put my hand here, blah, 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 blah. So was this a good way of getting you to not be camera shy? It's a good start. We're uh, gonna go on back down to the house, get in the air conditioned a little bit. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on with the goats. Now in hindsight here, I think that the aluminum fence wire was easy to work with, but I believe I would go with the galvanized wire next time because the aluminum fence wire stretches. And I didn't know that it would stretch so much, so when we first started putting strands up, we put two strands up and the goats had already broken through the fence before we even got done. So they broke the wire already before we got done. Their horns get hung in it or whatever. I think it might be good for goats because goats are prone to choking themselves on wire so like especially like woven wire so I think this might be good we went around we did it all the way around the place picked up a bunch of sticks and stuff make sure that it's totally free and clear of uh, any debris and we actually tested the fence and it tested positive very good we did a, a little bit of a spark test and we did a little bit of a hand test we did a wife test. I did a wife test on it, and the wife test seemed to work out pretty good. So she's got a little less spark in her right now, but <laughs> things are good. This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and Mrs. Stony Ridge Farmer. You guys want to see more of Mrs. Stony Ridge? Leave me some comments. Let her know. We want to see more of you. Some people say they do. I know she's prettier. <laughs> I think she's prettier than me. You think she's prettier than me? We'll catch you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm, guys. Click that like button for me. Let me know you what you're thinking, okay? If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the Farm Vlog and we'll take you on our journey. Thanks a lot. Woo!